So what I want to talk about now is a common practice that we see in the beekeeping industry, which is balancing colonies before the honey flow. So what it consists of is beekeepers take bees out of really strong colonies and put them in weak colonies. The net result is the weak colonies collect more honey and the strong colonies collect less honey, but the honey crops evened out over everything. Sounds a good idea, but as far as we can work out, it's probably not. And the reasons why is that if you've got a strong colony, all the extra bees there in that colony are going to go out and collect honey. They're surplus to what needs to be looked after the brood. But if you take a uh, pile of those bees and put them into a wheat colony, the question is what's the wheat colony going to do with it? Well, the first thing they're going to do, do with it is try to increase the amount of brood. So they're going to use a whole lot of those bees for brood rearing. So instead of those bees collecting honey where they were in the original colony, a lot of them will end up just collecting brood. The other thing you have to think about is why was the colony weak to start off with? If there was a queen problem, if there was some disease problem, of course, adding bees to it just is putting good bees after, after a bad hive and you're never going to get any with it. So what I suggest people do is if you're already doing it, then take a few half apries where you balance half the hives in the apiary and not the other half. And do that over four or five apries and see if you can pick up a difference between the amount of honey produced by the colonies you are balancing versus the ones that you're not balancing. Or if you're not balancing anything and thinking about doing it, again, do a few half apries to see whether it's going to have an effect. So in summary, this balancing just before the honey flow, we think is probably decreasing the amount of honey collected. I mean, it looks good because your wheat colonies are collecting honey as well, but if you look at overall, the theory at least was suggest you're going to collect less honey. Slightly different if you're doing it early spring, you, it may not be so bad. You might be able to save some colonies by using stronger bees, but at the honey flow, it's a real question you're gonna to have to answer for yourself.